and welcome to this new video from the Nail Media channel. Um, first of all, I'm sorry I didn't post any video uh, lately. I've been really busy uh, developing websites and working and uh, so busy in fact that I even had to give, to give a lot of contracts to other agencies or to my partners. And uh, so that's the first reason. Second reason, honestly, there's a lot of plugins and things that I need or wanted to review and uh, other video uh, bloggers, like if I can call it like that, or YouTubers did the same thing, uh, did the same videos that I wanted to do. So, for example, I wanted to do a block comparison between Cadence uh, blocks and Kubli and a few others like Ultimatum blocks and so on. Uh, I don't remember the last one. And um, I didn't do so because, of course, somebody else did the same video, almost the same thing. And it's like that for a few plugins that were out lately that I bought. And that's okay. Uh, one of those guys is David McCann. And the reason that I'm mentioning him is that I'll probably do a video on his, for his channel soon. And, of course, I really uh, like and respect this guy. So, uh, first of all, don't want to do any competition with him. And of course, suddenly, I don't want to repeat simply what is going to repeat. So we talk a lot of times together on our Facebook uh, Press Devs channel that you can join, by the way, Facebook group. And of course, since we agree on a lot of things, I don't want to do a review that will be the exact same thing as him. So better to point to, uh, to his channel instead, which I'm going to do probably uh, soon. So anyway, I wanted to do another one today about how to, because this is something that I found out last week, um, I'm using the Astro team. And probably many of you know about that. And of course, I really like the Astro team. I've been using that for a couple of years, especially the Pro version, because the Pro version allows me to have a couple of more advanced things, like hooks, for example, to uh, insert bits of programming code here and there, and a couple of other uh, customization. But uh, in the last couple of weeks, I had two major cases where I needed to change something and I only installed the Astra free version because I didn't want necessarily to give them my license. More people that I was helping than other. And I found out that, wow, it's really limited what we can do. For example, she had a black, one of my clients had a black site and by default, the content on each page uh, is white so it's okay if you have a white website which is the case most of the time but in her case she wanted to have a black one and it was impossible the, the background was black and there was a square around it that was black but the place where the content was was white and there's no setting in Astra free you need to have the pro version to be able to customize and change the content background color or to put it transparent so I needed to do some manual CSS to be able to bypass that. And same thing for the submenus. We found out that there's no setting for the submenu in Astra Free and so on for the colors anyway. So a little bit limiting. Now we were thinking about, of course, switching to Cadence theme. And the reason that I didn't switch to Cadence theme yet is that, like I said, since I'm using the Astra Pro, template there were some things that were not available yet in cadence now cadence has released i think a week or two ago their pro version the official release so a lot of things are now available in cadence pro that were in astra pro and a lot of things that are available in cadence are never will probably never be available or at least not until version three or four into astra theme so uh, there might be a five to 10% that are still lacking, but honestly, there's so much features that are inside Cadence that are not in the 2S strat that I'll probably switch at some point. Didn't do so yet, but probably next couple of projects, I'll probably do that. But the problem with Cadence, as many as pointed out, is the uh, lack, if I can say it like that, of pre-made templates. And as has always been, to be honest, one of the strengths of Astra. I'm not a designer, and that's one of the reason, one of the main reasons, I should say, why I switched to Astra a couple of years ago. 
because there are so many pre-made templates that you have here there are more than 100 counting and they're still implementing new ones uh, that we have access to of course if you are an agency member like i am so that's one of the drawbacks if i can say it like that of cadence now they have i think something like six or nine templates right now and they promise to do a lot more in the coming months so it might not be an issue down the road but for now it might be an issue for you and if it is the case what i've learned last week is that we can import any astra template in mostly any theme well, i wouldn't say any theme but anyway all the themes that are made for page builders in cadence is one of them so that's what i'm going to show you today i'm going to use that free theme here and i'm going to show you the result of importing that free theme into uh cadence so now i have a new website here it's part of a custom uh, multi-site installation but still i'm going to simply uh, use that one here install extra uh, cadence sorry it's already there but not activated and as plugins i'm going to simply activate the plugin for i have a lot of plugins here but that's simply because like i said i have a multi-site installation most of them are not activated so i'm going to simply activate the premium starter templates here this is the premium version, but if I don't insert my premium key, it's going to do the same thing as if you install the free version, by the way. So I'm going to go there. I'm going to choose Elementor. And I'm going to use, like I said, that template over here. And as you can see, there's no uh, warning or something like that that you need to use the Astra theme. So I'm going to import the complete site because if you don't do so, of course, you won't have all the customizer settings and so on. So I usually import all the site, even if I don't use all the pages. That being said, of course, it's usually when I work with Astra. It might be a little bit different if you use another team. And I'll explain why in a few seconds. So I'm going to click on Import Complete Site. I can delete previously imported site if I have any, which is not the case. And this is where you will need to uncheck that. Install and activate Astra theme because of course I want to use the cadence theme. Now, as you can see, if I uncheck that, it's gonna automatically uncheck the other setting here. So you won't import the customizer settings. So because of that, you need to know that you will have differences. For example, fonts or colors and things like that, if they are made in the customizer. So not all themes or templates are equal. And I'm going to show you this one because I chose this one. And I'm going to talk about another one later on to, for you to see the difference. So I need to deactivate that because I want to keep the cadence theme. I'm going to import, of course, the widgets, the plugins, and the content itself. And I'm going to click on import. So my site, my server is pretty quick. So I'm going to do that real time. And here we go. I can click on view site and here we go. Now, let me just show you the final example here. So this is the Astra site and here's my site created or imported in the Cadence theme. So when I did some testing, it was importing the, uh, the logo here. So I don't know why I didn't do it this time. Maybe it works sometimes, but not every time. But anyway, we're going to change that pretty quickly. But as you can see, the difference is not that much. Let's say if I put them side by side. Whoops, didn't work. Sorry. Here we go. Um, come on. Okay. So if we put them side by side, now it's switched to the uh, template or tablet menu. But beside that, you see the... There's not a lot of difference besides the logo missing here. Font is a little different here. It's not all caps. Here it is. But beside that, beside the fonts themselves, everything is pretty much the same. Even the social icons here are the same. All right. So great. We start with something that is pretty similar. 
Okay, so let's go back with that one. So now, of course, what I need to do, I had, want to have a transparency ending and so on, so I won't customize everything, but pretty quickly I can go into the editor setting here and I can select to be to have a transparent editor. So that will take care of that part here. And it has brought my logo at the same time. So probably it was already changed on my testing. I'm going to simply say that I want to have the, uh, okay, it was, was on white on white, that's why. I'm going to simply say that the logo, I want to have the logo only, not a logo and title. And uh, that's about it. I think it's already taking the width. In this particular case, I closed my other window, but it doesn't take the entire width of the page, just the content. So I can easily change that in my row setting here to be, uh, oh, it's already standard, sorry. I thought it was set to full width. So after that, we can of course change the uh, navigation color and things like that. So I won't take the, the, uh, the time to change everything, but just to show you pretty quick, of course, I'm gonna change the uh, hover color and so on. Not a good choice here, but you see the uh, how we can do that pretty quickly and so on. And of course here for the buttons, I could change the fonts as well. And I think by testing it previously that it doesn't, uh, in this particular case, use my, uh, for example, if I change the font here, I can set that to be all caps, but it doesn't change it here. So probably a setting in Elementor or something like that. But anyway, you see that we can change that pretty quickly. Now, like I said, it's not as easy with any template that you import. This one is white, so it's pretty basic. So work fine. But if you have a more colored theme, then it might not be as easy as this one was. So let's say, for example, um, I'm going to have to uh, install my license key. So I'm going to pose the key, the site to do that. Uh, so first of all, I'm going to show you I want to import, for example, the agency theme right here. Of course, I need to insert my license key, so it will take two seconds. All right, so the reason that I needed to import my license key, that's because that's, of course, an agency uh, template. So I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna import the complete site. This time, I'm going to delete the previously imported site. And of course, I'm gonna uncheck the install and import Astra. So let's click on that. It's going to delete everything and then import the new site on top of that one. And as you can see, this one has a dark, almost black background. So white text on top of it. So as you might guess, the looks is going to be a lot different when we preview it. And here we go. So it's not even the right thing. <laughs> So probably because I had already imported one and it has taken the uh, the color. So anyway, usually when you import it from scratch, you will have a, white, uh, a dark background. So I don't know why it's not the case here. Like I said, probably because I imported the other one previously. But as you might guess, in regular times, if I just uh, set the background color, let's say to be a, a dark one, it's not completely black, but anyway. So as you can see, my text will not be really visible. So that's what you will have to change if you use a template like one of those. You will have to come into the customizer and of course change your colors and a couple of other things like this button here is not like the other one. Uh, if I used, if I show you the uh, real, let's say agency one. You will see that you have some green here with buttons with borders and some uh, titles like that here and so on. So it's going to be a little bit different. You won't have those in, uh, sorry, here. So you do have a border and so on, but the buttons don't look exactly the same. So you will have a little bit more of customization to do. But again, of course, if everything is done into Elementor or even Gutenberg, I didn't test Gutenberg, but I guess it would be the same you will still have to do a, a little bit of customization because 
some settings are coming from the Astra customizer. And since we cannot import or export from one team to the other for customizer, then of course we need to recreate those things. So everything is absolutely doable. We just need to take the time to do it. But of course, no problem with that. Everything is doable in that regard. So here I think it's, uh, I don't know if it's some text here or really a logo. Looks like it's a logo, but there might be a dark and light version of the logo. Is the logo here white? Yeah. So, don't know. There might be a light and dark version of it if it's not some text. Let's see. Site identity. So, oh, it wasn't the same place. Change the logo. Looks like that's a dark one. Is there a white one? Yeah, there it is. And that's the difference. So anyway, so everything is doable. Just needs a little bit more tweak. But as you can see, you have 90% of the job done and you still use an Astra template, but inside a different theme. So, and honestly, I've been working with Astra, like I said, for a long time. And a lot of times I still need to switch to Elementor Pro anyway and redo the editor because I don't like, uh, there's things missing in the editor, sometimes in the footer and things like that. So I still have some work to do anyway to make it look like I want. So it's not really that longer to do that in Cadence uh, in terms of being the exact same look as the original one. But anyway, you will probably not want to be exactly like the original one. So doing some customization to make it look like the original one might not be even an issue. So anyway, I hope you found that video helpful. And of course, if you want to have some comments, you can always put them below. Thank you and have a good day. Thank you.